All right, we have a rifle coos deer tag, uh, as they should be getting into the rut. Well, I say we have. Uh, Hendrick has a rifle coos deer tag. I'm around to help, and uh, Gibson is 10, taking hunter safety right now. Uh, so he is beyond pumped to start hunting, so he just wanted to come along for the ride. Uh, we have a couple hour drive here ahead of us. The camper is hooked up, and we've got basically two and a half full days of hunting. Uh, weather looks like it's gonna be mostly clear, extremely cold. Uh, and hopefully we just watch bucks push does around all day long and uh, hopefully big guy gets a shot. But uh, we're gonna start making some distance and uh, we'll pick it up when we get in the field. Well, we uh, got here right at first light, right when I wanted to, although this isn't the spot I wanted to get to. Uh, country always looks bigger in real life, uh, and with this mixed age group here, uh, we just came to this little point where we could see a good amount of country, decided to just post up a glass for the morning, saw a doe and a fawn, uh, which means there's other deer somewhere, uh, but not here. There's also a billion cows, so uh, we were gonna like drop down and complete our journey to where I wanted to get to. Uh, we just had another uh, uh, a guy hunting with a recurve, which is for coos, is just, that guy's hardcore. Um, anyway, he just came through, was heading that direction anyway. Uh, so we're gonna stay out of his way. We could actually hit the trail we were on, wrap back around this other uh, knob, and just find a good spot to glass a bunch of country that's been obscured from view. And uh, that's how we'll spend probably the rest of our day before hiking back to camp. Because it's cold and it's supposedly the rut, so things could be moving at any point. And I think I dipped my arm down and lost Gibson for part of that shot, but he's still here, don't worry. Uh, Alright, we gotta get going. Spent, uh, spent the afternoon in a new spot, like most of the day. And uh, finally, we saw, I think, three different does. Kept scanning, looking in all directions for a buck that should be theoretically running through, sniffing him out. Uh, and he never showed up. Uh, there's a little bit of shooting light left, but we also have a couple of sketchy climbs on the way back that I don't really want to make in the dark with these fellas. So. We're gonna hit the trail, get back to camp, and uh, make a game plan for tomorrow. We got all day tomorrow, and then Wednesday morning if we need it. Just gotta, just gotta find where the bucks are. We're, we're finding deer, just not tons of them, and nothing with antlers yet. It is a bit colder than yesterday morning and uh, slightly overcast, so now that the sun is up, it is not warming up the same way it was. Um, so we're all struggling a bit. Uh, Gibson might die. Uh, I just put those toe warmer things on my boots that I thought were a joke, but I'm actually loving them right now. And uh, no deer are around at the moment. So we've really, we got a later start. <laughs> Woke up a little late again because it was cold and hard to get out of bed. Um, so we really have only done like 10 to 15 minutes of solid, intense glassing. Uh, so still some time, but uh, yeah, these coos deer are kind of thin-skinned. Uh, usually, first thing in the morning, you find them feeding in the sun, trying to warm up. But there really isn't any sun to do that, so 
just keep scanning and seeing if we can turn something up and then if not I don't know figure out what we're gonna do quick detour uh, the morning left us with only one single tiny doe I saw something and uh, something that disappeared behind a bush as deer often do and never reappeared the rest of the morning so we uh, we came back to camp since we hadn't hiked that far in uh, we got about three hours till we want to be in our uh, next spot for the evening and uh, we're hungry and I'm sick of packaged food so we're driving into town uh, just to get some some hearty lunch and then we'll be back here we'll hike back into a different spot uh, closer to where we were uh, glassing up all those does yesterday evening see if uh, they reappear and if they've got a buck in tow this time but for now we need food Just starting our hike in. Just stopped because Gibson had to shed a layer. So I just threw the glass up. I picked up the movement of a deer rebedding. By the time I get the tripod, the spotter, everything out, it had rebed, and all I can see is like front shoulder back. So no idea if it's a buck or not. But it's in the direction we were heading. So we're gonna work our way up a little closer see if we can assess the situation, taking the wind, uh, just figure out the best way to approach. So we're gonna stalk this as if it's a buck until we get a closer vantage point and it turns out it's a doe, we'll regroup from there. But it's our best idea at the moment. False alarm. Made our play all the way over so I could get an angle to look up. I do know for sure I saw a deer walking and moving while I was standing up, just freehand. And the thing that I thought was the deer rebedded upon closer inspection is just a dead lump of nothing. So it's three o'clock, so it's behind a little bit. I gotta dig a cactus out of a shoe. Uh, but we're just gonna backtrack to the trail, head to our original plan. Okay, slight change of plans. Uh, after another evening where we glassed up more does, uh, we are calling it. So, well, Hendrick is calling it, because it's his tag, so his choice. Um, we had one more Hail Mary spot that was didn't seem all that likely, and where our options would be limited in terms of being able to put a stock on. Uh, and more than anything, I think the freezing cold that has not let up is, uh, is making a warm bed feel real nice right now. So. Uh, we just had tomorrow morning to hunt. We we're gonna leave in the afternoon anyway. So instead of that, we're going to pack up this mess and uh, as quick as we can, get on the road, get some dinner and get home not too terribly late so we can sleep in uh, some warm beds. But gentlemen, good hunt? Yeah. All right, tired and cold? Yeah, no. Okay, yeah, fair enough. But uh, it's part of the adventure. Sorry we couldn't get on them, but uh, saw a bunch of cool stuff. I'm out of things to say, so we'll go.